can, remember? No. Treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street and find nothing built during the modern ages. And despite appearances, we care deeply about everything. We have no reserve, not in war and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Devinter? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Yeah. Not that it matters. I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. <laughs> I can do more for Devinter here. If the Venatori succeed, it'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree. But that's why we kill them. I see. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. Yeah, I can see that. I should go. You know where I'll be. Fiona, do you have something? I heard of your verdict on Alexios Inquisitor. Research on your behalf is almost too kind. I hope you know what you're doing. Do be wary of anything that man proposes. Oh, I'm not weak like you. You were once a Grey Warden. Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago, I found myself stripped of what made me a warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi, the first warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. You sound happy about it. Becoming a warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a warden. You mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the circles of Magi. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. It what would. happened had to happen. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly did the Venatori take control in Redcliffe? Mages constantly found their way to us while we were there. Stragglers, most of them strangers. I had no way of knowing some were actually to Winter. They spread whispers, encouraged talk of an alliance, and we were desperate. Yeah, but that's not, not an excuse. But we were certain Templars were coming. It could have ended far worse. You're not still the Grand Enchanter, then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi, although some still call me by it. Perhaps oh. the Circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next Divine is. And what she offers. Oh, they no. can't go back to the way things were. But endless warfare benefits no one. I mean, that is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. There must be another solution. I trust everything is well with the mages. Mm. There have been a few scuffles with your Are going to make but overall, it is going the world well. ours. The Chantries. We shall lead. God, there's so much... This is so hugely big. Wait, ah, this is the mosaic. Okay. Let's 
there in the research. Inquisitor. I am to serve as assistant to any research concerns. I see. You'll find my skills are exceptional. I hope they prove useful. You're taking over the duties of Minave? Yes. She said she was needed elsewhere and that I should serve the Inquisition to the best of my ability. What is she doing? I wasn't told. You were made tranquil? Yes. I am tranquil. It was necessary due to a willful nature that made wielding magic a dangerous endeavor. I, I remember that being a difficult time, but I cannot remember why. My skills are well used in my current position. How can you serve the Inquisition? I am to aid in the research of all creatures encountered in your efforts as leader of the Inquisition. What makes you particularly qualified? I remember being fond of animals. I don't remember why. I said, okay. What is your evaluation of how we Bond of animals. Adequate. Based on a partial improvements to Skyhold. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Skyhold. And you are. Oh, Inquisitor. Greetings. I was recently appointed by Sister Liliana to keep her books in order. I'm so pleased to be here, helping out in my small way. Well, I should get back to work. Wait, what? Oh. One day I'm going to read all these books. One day, when I have time. Okay, so you cannot be taught anymore. Let's see. Is it that here before? We probably have one. I was not expecting a visit. You had little interest in speaking to me privately before. But as dear Josephine says, it's never too late to make a friend. I hope I'm not disrupting anything. The commander was just delivering the names of those we lost at Haven. Oh. You must blame me for this. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. Yeah. Not you. Scorifius. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the what? first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents. And instead... But that's not what Warwick said. You look out for your people. That's a good thing. Is it? My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Well, they are soldiers. True. There are soldiers. They'll do what we need them to. If Corypheus is cold, I must be colder. War demands sacrifices of us all. No, but... but Okay. Well, yeah, but just not pointless sacrifice. And demons keep coming. 
The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread, and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in Haven. I... I am much better now. Justinia was such a dear friend, and there were so many things going wrong. Sometimes it's best to talk these things out. I was there when the hero Ferelden defeated the Archdemon. We won the day, and I thought the Maker smiled on me. When the Divine requested my help, I went to her. I owed her that much. I sacrificed so much to do the Maker's work. But now, Justinia is dead. I was angry. I felt betrayed. But I shouldn't have let my emotions get the better of me. Aww. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You were grieving and upset. I understand. Thank you. Now, enough of this. Let us think more pleasant thoughts. <laughs> I'll watch you die for me. If you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. Good. They called you the left hand of the Divine. That they did? What of it? I'd like to hear about Justinia. What was she like? A friend. A mentor. Like me, she had secrets. Made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. What? Was there something more than friendship between you? You asked lovers. Who were lovers. Mm -hmm. Typical. <laughs> I was devoted to her, therefore it must be romantic. No. Love is common. Love is simple. My bond with Justinia was something greater. She was a sister, a mother, a teacher. So to answer your question, Yes, it was more than friendship. <laughs> How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became Women. divine. Before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. I was at my lowest. Broken. Lost. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She just showed me it was possible. We'll talk more later. Will we it talk now? Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. <sighs> As for the other Wardens... I suppose we will have to keep looking. Anything I should know? It seems that the Olesian army is awaiting our next move. Some of the generals are sympathetic to our cause, others are still suspicious. Our actions hmm? are under a great deal of scrutiny. Yeah. You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends. And on occasion, enemies. It's unavoidable. You have a history with the Warden who ended the Blight, don't you? I count him among my closest friends. I still write to him for advice when I can. <gasps> it is alive. I, my letters in some time. I try not to worry about it. Damn it, it why don't you write back to her? They say you spent some time in Lothering. Did you know the champion? We spoke a few times. I seldom left the Chantry, and we never became more than casual acquaintances. I saw more of the Hog twins. Bethany in particular. She would spend time in meditation at the Chantry, and she seemed to like